Welcome to part 5 of 50 of the Element 4 Amateur Extra Licensing Exam and now we're talking about licensing exams. Question 1. For which type of out-of-pocket expenses do the Part 97 rules state that VEs and VECs may be reimbursed? That is for preparing, processing, administering, and coordinating an examination for an amateur radio operator license. And you can find this rule under 97.527 of Title 47, Part 97. VEC, VEs and VECs, it exa reads exactly as the answer. So that is direct from the rules themselves, the Commission rules. Who is tasked by Part 97 with maintaining the pools of questions for all U.S. amateur license am examinations? And that is the VECs. And if you want to check that out, you can go to ncvec.org. You can read all about where this comes from. That's where all of these questions and answers come from. They're the ones that keep up with it. What is the Volunteer Examiner Coordinator? It's an organization that has entered into an agreement with the FCC to coordinate, prepare, and administer amateur operator license examinations. So a VEC is the Volunteer Examiner Coordinator. That's the head person in charge. What is required to be accredited as a Volunteer Examiner? A, VC, a VEC must confirm that the VE applicant meets FCC requirements to serve as an examiner. And that can be found right in here, administering VE requirements. There's a couple of rules. You got to be 18. Uh, you have to hold a certain class to test a certain class. Lots of rules there. So you can go check that out. If you're interested in being a VE, if you become an extra, or a general give back, become a VE. Volunteer some of your time, give back. What must the VE team do with the application form if the examinee does not pass the exam? You return the application document to the examinee. Doesn't matter what they do with it, they can toss it, they can burn it, they could make it into a paper airplane, but you must return the application document to the examinee. And if you do enough of these as a VE or a VEC, you get used to these rules. They just become a habit. Who is responsible for the proper conduct and necessary supervision during an amateur operator license examination session? And that is each administering VE. So if you're there, you're responsible. Your name is on the list. What should a VE do if a candidate fails to comply with the examiner's instructions during an amateur operator license examination? You immediately terminate the candidate's examination. Something fishy going on? You immediately terminate that candidate's examination. That is, that is in the rules. To which of the following examinees may a VE not administer an examination? The answer is relatives of the VE as listed in the FCC rules. So that's in part 97. It is 97.509, administering VE requirements. Part D says no VE may administer an examination to his or her spouse, children, grandchildren, stepchildren, parents, grandparents, stepparents, brothers, sisters, stepbrothers, stepsisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, and in-laws. So if you're related to them, probably not going to be able to administer that exam. Question 9. What may be the penalty? for a VE who fraudulently administers or certifies an examination. Revocation of the VE's amateur station license grant and the suspension of the VE's amateur operator license grant. So you need to take it seriously and you need to be careful. What must the administering VEs do after the administration 
of a successful examination for an amateur operator license. They must submit the application document to the coordinating VEC according to the coordinating VEC instructions. Now there's, there's different VECs out there and they all have slightly different uh, processes for this. What must the VE team do if an examinee scores a passing grade on all examination elements needed for an upgrade or new license? This is where three VEs must certify that the examinee is qualified for the license grant and that they have complied with the administering VE requirements. So to give any test, you have to have at least three VEs there. And each one of them is going to grade the paper. They pass it down. So it gets graded three times at least. Alrighty, so that is the section on testing. If these videos are helpful in you studying for your amateur extra license, please like the videos that you watch and subscribe to the channel to show your support. I'm Robbie, W1RCP73.